All right, here is another combo unit question. This is in your practice box in your notes. We're converting 3.56 centimeters per second to feet per hour. Um, remember with our combo units, our goal is to make sure we know the conversions to get us from numerator to the new numerator and then denominator to denominator. So separately, we want to think about all the conversions that would help us change from centimeters to feet. Now at this point in the game, I really think that you should not have to use your um, conversions I expect you to know paper you should really just be digging deep in your brain and using just the back of the periodic table to come up with these conversions so since I recognize this to be a metric unit and this is a USCS unit I might want to refer to the back of my periodic table to find this conversion there's a conversion between um, inches and centimeters and one inch there's 2.54 centimeters so I'm going to go ahead and list that under my ratios I also know I need to convert from to feet and that there are 12 inches in a foot. So the other thing is I need to think of all the conversions I need to convert from seconds to hours because those are time conversions and that's common knowledge so I shouldn't have to refer to any handout to do that. I know that in one hour there are 60 minutes and there are 60 seconds in one minute. So. Um, I have all of the conversions I need to get from centimeters to feet, centimeters inches, inches to feet, and centimeters to hours. I'm sorry, seconds to hours, seconds to minutes, minutes to hours. When I start the problem, I'm setting it up like a clean fraction. I'm never going to use that forward slash in my combination unit problems. And I'll start by converting my numerator. You could very well convert your denominator first. It really doesn't matter but I always like to start with the numerator. So centimeters needs to cancel out with centimeters, so I'll put my 2.54 centimeters in the denominator, one inch at the top, 12 inches at the bottom, because I need my units to cancel out diagonally, one foot at the top, and my numerator conversion is now done. Now for the denominator, I have seconds on the bottom, I need seconds in the top, because I need my units to cancel diagonally, this is where I'm going to take my 60 seconds and put it in the numerator. The other side of the ratio is one minute. And now I'm going to make my units cancel out and hours on the bottom. Here's my double check. Make sure your units cancel out diagonally. And whatever units you're left over with, we hope that's what we want. Feet over hours, feet over hours, everything's good there. In the calculator, you want to type in 3.56 divided by 2.54 divided by 12 times 60 times 60 and when I do that here's the answer I get and then my units feet per hour now the given has 3.56 uh, this the given of 3.56 has three sig figs in it so I'll count one two three um, and 420 is going to need to include the decimal place to show through significant figures um, in that now just a few reminders, with your ratios, because these are conversions, you do not consider these for your sig figs, okay? Because um, these are not, these are exact values. Um, even though they are measurement conversions, these are exact values. We don't consider those for sig figs. The other thing is if you're curious, why do units cancel out? Um, units cancel out the same way numbers do because Centimeters over centimeters, centimeters divided by centimeters is one, and anything times one is itself. Therefore, we can easily cancel out units the same way numbers do.